Hello everyone. Today we're talking about another AI avatar, and this one is coming from Tencent, the Han Yuan video avatar. Now, this avatar is a little different from what we've seen previously with other AI talking avatar framework, which mostly use stable video diffusion as a base to generate long-length talking avatar video clips. For the Han Yuan video avatar, obviously, they are based on Han Yuan video Tencent themselves and they have recently released the full model weights of this video avatar model and use it free in Tencent Cloud official website. So, you can see the architecture right here. Like WAN 2.1 Fantasy Talking, this model are using the Diffusion Transformer with capable of running multi-model. It is able to detect multiple characters, to segment which audio belongs to the woman or the man. So basically, there's a segmentation of gender in here that helps run this. Additionally, there's more emotion added to the facial expressions of the character when it's generated. Now, this framework and AI models are going to use image and audio files for generating the talking avatar videos. There's multi-GPU support to operate this, or you can use a single GPU to run it. Either way is fine, it's still able to do the inferencing using the Han Yuan video avatar. But then, there are some limitations for local consumer PCs. If you scroll down to the bottom of the GitHub page, you'll see the requirement section shows that it needs a minimum of 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And the recommendation is 96 gigabytes of VRAM. So, most common computers might not even have 20 gigabytes of VRAM, especially for end users. So, there's another way to run this, another project called WAN2GP. This project is like an aggregator where you have different open source AI video models that the author has put into this UI interface. It's also optimized for low VRAM requirements, so it claims to run with as little as 6 gigabytes of VRAM, which is the minimum. I think it will be able to run this GitHub project and start up the Hanyuan video, and also the LTV video. I'm not sure if that's spelled right, it should probably be LTX in here. Anyway. We're going to try the Hanyuan video avatar today. That's what we're focusing on. So let's check out this project first. In the WAN GP, in version 5.4, you could already see that it supports Hanyuan video avatar in this update version. In 5.5, you will also have the Hanyuan video custom with audio. This is another new feature that we'll be able to play around with later. Right here it won't need 80 gigabytes of VRAM or even 32 gigabytes of VRAM. The Hanyuan video avatar minimum is going to be 10 gigabytes of VRAM as per the updates of this GitHub project. So I guess the 6 gigabytes of VRAM mentioned at the top here is the general minimum to get started with this WANGP project. By the way, the GP stands for GPU poor. Well, this is kind of a mean word, but hey, that's just the reality. It's designed to run on low VRAM setup. So we're going to try this out on a local PC. This project is pretty easy to get started with and install. Also, there's an easier way, a one-click install, like what they have with Pinocchio. But Pinocchio is kind of, well, I'm not a big fan of one-click installs, and it doesn't offer much customization. So I'm going to use the normal way of installation using WANGP here. By guest start, we're going to follow the installation guides and just copy and paste each command prompt into my command prompt window to see if this really works with such a simple method. We'll get started, and at this moment I'm going to use my NVIDIA RTX 4090. It belongs to this installation section using what they call the stable method of running this installation. Now, if you're using Blackwell or the RTX 50 series, then it's going to use the beta installation method. In the Blackwell architecture, you'll need PyTorch 2.7 and CUDA 12.8 versions, which are already described here. Okay, so let's go back to the top and get started with this stable method of running it. As you can see, there's a hint that tells you how to install Trident on Windows and also how to install the Sage Attention algorithm on Windows. So if you haven't installed Trident on Windows or Sage Attention on Windows, you can try these command prompts for your comfy UI or any AI applications running locally. Okay, so we're in the command prompt window, and as you can see, I've used the Git clone of the GitHub project. Went into GP, and well, this is a very simple way. Now, we're going to move into that folder, went into GP, and created a CUDA virtual environment. Right here, we press yes, and we continue to download the packages. Extract the package and activate the Conda environment for WAN to GP. 
The next step we're going to do is install PyTorch. Now this project recommends Torch 2.6 and CUDA 12.4 for older NVIDIA architectures. Again, this is not for Blackwell. One more time, if you're using Blackwell, then use the other beta versions of installations. <coughs> we're going to type pip install dash r requirements.txt. And this is a very simple procedure. As you can see, we can scroll down in our file explorer and we have the WAN2GP files right here. Actually, those installations of libraries aren't placed in this WAN2GP folder. They are actually in your Conda environment. So, next we're going to install Sage Attention. Now, I'll try to use Sage2 Attention, which is 40% faster than Sage Attention with 30%. So, right here, we're going to use just one simple command prompt, which is the Triton Windows installer. Then, the next command prompt is going to be sage attention 2. Now, here you have to match it with the CUDA and Torch version numbers. Once we're finishing with the previous installations, we'll start by using pip install trident windows. Now, this is for the Windows OS. If you're on Linux, go to the Linux OS. You don't need the Triton installation. So, here, as you can see, we're downloading the wheel file which is Triton Windows 3.3. The 3.31 version is able to load Sage Attention 2, and once again, you need the Windows version. Then you can highlight the command prompt window there, and I'll put all these command prompts for Windows and Linux as well in the description below. You can check it out. It will take a while for the installations here because you've got to download something and extract those packages. So once it's done, you can start with the web UI of WAN2GP. It's really simple. Just follow this command prompt step by step, and you're ready to go. For WANGP, basically, you're going to press enter after you type python wangp.py. The first time, it will download a 92 megabyte file size. This only happens the first time you run the application. After that, you'll have the local URL as you can see, everything installed successfully, and we can get started by running it in our local URL through our web browser. As you can see, the UI is pretty simple. You can select from the drop-down menu on the top middle here and choose any of the popular open source AI video models listed. Let's find the Hanyuan video avatar. This is the 720p resolution 13 billion parameter model. Now in the LoRa preset, you can put the LoRa files in here for your animations as well. For the reference image, I have my pre-generated AI avatar image, and this is my virtual character for this tech topic, so I'll try this with. All these settings operations are really easy, as you can see. Just read the text, you can understand the prompts here. It has one predefined prompt, but I'll delete this because it doesn't match what we need for our AI avatar. So I'll paste my text prompt here and start the queue process for generating this talking avatar. It will slowly take off because the first time, you'll also need to download the Hanyuan Video Avatar AI model. This is going to be the full model weight, as you can see. It's downloading separate files, not just one safe tensor file like you normally use in Comfy UI. Those are repackaged safe tensor files, hands off. You don't need to worry about any separate files. But here, the script will first help you download the full model weight. So, here's the generated result. I generated a 10-second part of my audio input from my reference. Let's check out how this sounds. Hey, what's up? We're trying out the Hunyuan video avatar in OneGP. This video model are focusing for generate AI talking avatar with an image. It's pretty nice. As you can see, you can also trim the timeline of your audio files in the voice to follow sections. For example, after continuing past 10 seconds, you can trim another 10 seconds like that, highlighted there, to generate another bat. One thing to mention is that you should go to the guide page in this project app. When you scroll down to each model, it tells you what each model is for. You know the purpose of using it when selecting a model. Guys, there's hardware info for VRAM recommendations, telling you which AI models are suitable for what size of VRAM and by use case. As you can see, some are for prototyping, like WAN 1.3b, which is very fast for generation sampling while others with higher parameter sizes are for better quality. For the configurations here, when you tap on the top and look at the general sub-tab, the most important thing is performance. You'll want to select integer 8 quantization for lower VRAM. 
I'm talking about under 24 gigabytes of VRAM here, which is considered lower because everything runs in full model weight here. So once you select the recommended settings and the suitable settings for your hardware, this is ready to go. I can't say there's one best setting for all because it's all about how good your hardware setup is. And for some older GPU models, you might run into problems due to architecture issues when running newer AI models. So yeah, this is a really easy and fast way to install, very smooth without errors. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.